it's that pop of art. We gave me a shake and a start. And yo, we all about that pop of art. We shaking demons and we mending hearts. It's pop of, you know, it's pop of art. Pop up art came about as a third sector resource that people could come to and we would work with them in a psychoeducation way, offering counselling, offering mentoring, advocacy services, helping them with accommodation, helping them with all the life challenges that um, are thrown up to them. In between all that, we ask them to upscale a piece of furniture that has been donated to the project. And the philosophy behind that is, whilst you're up the upscaling that piece of furniture and renewing it and giving it a new life, because it was destined for landfill, you're giving yourself a new life. Set up Pop Up Art um, under the new Social Enterprise Hub, we come up with the idea. We started off with two sticks, which we had hand painted picked up in the woods and we were showing people that you can take absolutely nothing and make something out of it and the same thing can happen with people and our mission was to open a centre free to people, free to anybody in there that they could access at any time during the week, that they have free access to counselling, one-to-one uh, -one therapy, peer education and support and that during the time they also learn a new skill. Um, I'm Elaine, I'm 52, I'm diagnosed with a mental illness and um, I started coming to Pop Up Art nearly a year ago. It's the first place where I've actually felt a sense of belonging and I used to suffer from paranoia due to my illness, but I don't down here. It's something I can do every day. It's five, day, five days a week. And I can stay as long as I want or go home whenever I want. It keeps me out of uh, isolation because I suffer from uh, alcohol addiction and I've been sober now for five years. But my biggest danger would be isolation. I find that's the only way I can stay sober. We take people from all different backgrounds. Some are within the criminal justice system, some have mental health problems, some have physical disabilities. Um, it's a very inclusive um, organisation. There's such a lovely ambience in here. Um, as soon as you walk in, you're part of the family. It's so calm, so relaxed. I have four children myself. When I go home, I feel like I've had a break, even though it's a volunteer post. Um, I just absolutely love it and really miss it when I'm not there. There's no formalities in you must make an appointment, you must attend the appointment. If you don't attend two appointments, you're discharged. You're no knockbacks. Any knockbacks, the client knocks themselves back. We don't knock them back. We welcome them back. People ask, why do you do it? Why wouldn't you do it? It's, it's amazing. You have a smile on your face every day. We don't get paid any money for it. We, we get paid in hugs and smiles and just seeing people happy. And a smile is a success to us. The pop up board should have opened up earlier because so many people have benefited from it. Uh, people uh, like myself who is uh, problems of communication but other people who have had uh, drug problems, alcohol problems and criminals have also uh, turned their lives around with the help of pop-up art and uh, I've always had an interest in art and it's also reassuring to know that there's also a trained counsellor at the project as well. Like it gives them a way to think that there's a different way, you know, get them to realise that the, there is a different way than there is drinking drugs, just give them a, another positive outlet. We're now in a process of trying to find new premises and continue the project on, but I feel it's very, very important that the project continues. But we need money. And today we are here for one reason, and that is for the appeal for funding. We have no government funding. We've had short amounts of funding, which has bought a paint and materials, and we have some private funding, which has done the same. We need premises. We need to be able to pay wages. We need to be able to pay for materials. And we have big plans to expand what we're currently doing into a couple of other projects that we have in mind. It's an outlet for so many different people um, and I think that they need to grow as big as they can. So we need funding to get us the leg up, to get us the lift off, to get us started and then we'll be able to maintain our self-sustainability through sale of our produce and through other parts of work in there.